Episode 82 of the We'll Just Agree. To Disagree. Podcast. What's up, B? Hey, man. It's just one of them days. <laughs> Who sings that? Monica? Who sings that song? Yeah, Monica. Yeah. Yeah, man. How's it um, going? You know what I love right now? I'm just putting this together. Is that we mm. both have on green. And we're about to talk mm. about money with the Powerball. Oh, <laughs> dope. Little... All right. Dope. $1.9 billion dollars but before we even get into this topic put the disclaimer out there b well you know we record the podcast in advance so by the time you're watching this some things have changed there may now be a winner the right. jackpot is already almost at 2.5 billion dollars and uh you know the other day monday night they had some sort of security Technical breach issue. uh with yeah there was a breach of protocol with security and everybody's looking side eye like the lottery uh what y'all doing mm. but anyway there were memes all over social media about it hilariousness but they did pick the winning numbers uh tuesday morning mm -hmm. and now there was no winner for that as of tuesday morning but now <sighs> that thing rolled over again. But who knows? By the time you watch this, there may be a winner. We don't know. We just want to put that not. disclaimer out. Yeah, right. because we uh, do this uh, podcast in advance. But anyway, so what would you do, Ryan, if you won $2.5 billion or whatever the jackpot may be by the time this goes up? If I won this money, there's a few things. One, uh, I'm one of those you will not know that I won the money. Mm -hmm. I'm not changing my lifestyle. I'm not changing what I wear. You may gradually see, but it would mm -hmm. not be an overnight Brian won the Powerball. Yeah. So second, <laughs> secondly, you would not see me on this podcast no more. Um, if I win this... <laughs> what what that about got, me? That got your attention back over here. What about me? Yeah. Um, no. Just leave me to do the podcast by myself? If I win this money, if I won <sighs> this money, right? I have done what I wanted to do in this industry, but I am done with it. I'm done working. I'm done with this industry. I'm done with this podcast. I'm going somewhere chilling. The Lord wants. Where are you going? I, out the country, away from y'all fools. Nowhere that <laughs> I even want to see y'all no more. I'm going out the country and I'm chilling. The I'm just trying to figure out how did I get thrown in the y'all category? It's not you. It's a lot of people here that I would not you see. But you're saying y'all. Yes, you too. What? What? A, what? Is, Why aren't you saying, well, Beyonce, you could ride out with me on one of the trips? That's what I'm expecting to hear. Well, a lot of the trips that I will be able to afford now, you already go on those trips now, present day, Powerball winner or not. So you'll probably already meet me out there. You know what I'm saying? So it really wouldn't be that much. But you can't treat now that you're a whole billionaire. You can't be like, come on, B, I got you. Okay, we've been doing, this is our 82nd episode of the We'll Just Agree to Disagree podcast. You got about $82.50 <laughs> to make your way if I win this Powerball <laughs> and take taxes out of that. You got to get $75 coming. <laughs> And I can't go nowhere on $75. Man, mm. that's crazy. Okay, doing, I thought dude? you had my back. No, like on all some, so, some seriousness. I am going to build tiny homes across the entire U.S. in different communities for the homeless. That's and then I'm also going to have some initiatives for the elderly, like um, community centers for the elderly, those who live in nursing homes and um, different institutions so that they can get out and enjoy their final years. I love that. Those are two things that have always been on my heart to do, even as a little kid. So, mm -hmm. man, I would make that a reality. I promise you. I don't know how far two and a half billion could go across the country as far right. as building homes, but it definitely could be an impact. I love that. And those are, those, I do really like those ideas. And those are great. Mm -hmm. Those are great answer. Now, I want Beyonce. <laughs> you. No. You because I really think you are going to do that without, I, I think you're going to. Oh, gonna... I thought you were trying to treat my ideas, boy. But can, no, no, absolutely not. But oh, now okay. can you give me a little bit more answer of what you're going to do if you still had half of that money left? Like, I want you to give me an answer. Like, you going to the club, you getting bottle service. Like, what is Beyonce? <laughs> you may be going to King of Diamonds. You know what I mean? Like, what, what, what? what is Beyonce going to do? <laughs> First of all, that is so not even my personality. I just feel like, with money, like that, with money like that, we got to stretch you, Beyonce. We need you 
the rolling. Come on, me. Have you ever been to a strip club? I shall not answer that. <laughs> I used to live in Las Vegas, so you been, you been, you like them, B? Hated it, hated really? it, hated it. Went for a girl's birthday party, and I was like, "Get me out of here!" I didn't want to be the prude, but I stuck in as long as I could, and then I was like, "Never again." So it, it was never again. I probably was just twenty-two at the time. Frantic, you know how you are when you turn twenty-one. Uh -huh. I went to the club like maybe twice. That was it. Not a good experience for me. But Let anyway, me tell you how I know we're not supposed to be talking about this right now because your whole because my video just went out. Just yeah, went yeah. Out. So See? Lord, See? forgive me. I'm sorry I asked that question. Don't play with me. <laughs> Next topic. My bad. Woo. Next topic. What are we talking but, about? Like, but on some real stuff though, I would have a home in Paris. It's one of my favorite destinations, and then I also probably would have a small little apartment or condo in Dubai. And then, of course, you know, I would always have a home here in Chicago and then maybe one other spot in Vegas. Those are just some of my uh, favorite destinations. And I would go first class over to Africa. Always wanted to go to Africa. That's one place on my list that I have not traveled to yet, but uh, definitely would do that like all the way first class. And then outside of that, I would still have a job. I would still work in radio. I would still, you know, try to dip and dab into some TV stuff. But for the most part, it, it really wouldn't change my lifestyle that much. It wouldn't. It wouldn't. I would still be the same Beyonce Fox I was before I won that 2.5 Billy. So that just shows me to one thing mainly. This is the conversation of Po Talk versus you got the bag <laughs> already. Because when you ain't got the bag yet, that's why you start thinking of what you really would do with all that time. You see, my my dumb self said, I'm not working no more. You still just said you're still going to work. You're still the same Beyonce. Just going to add an extra trip here and there. I'm going to get a house in the places that I've been to before, like Paris, Dubai, that I loved already. So this oh, talk really isn't, you know what I'm saying? So I get it. I get it. Get it. Um, Ryan. Let's switch. <laughs> you said Ryan knows. Right. He knows how to dig, boy. He knows how to get you. Oh, Lord, let's change the topic. Tell what else are we talking about let's, today? Okay, yeah, let's change it because I was, okay. Um, Twitter, Elon Musk has gotten Twitter. There's been so much going on as far mm. as freedom of speech, as yeah. far as he's now charging you $8 for a verification check. Mm -hmm. As far as I think I just read the other day, he let go of thousands of employees already yeah. at Twitter. And now they're calling some of them back, though. What I know you, it's a whole mess. What are your thoughts? Like, I, I've always thought he was kind of eccentric and a little different. And I right. don't mind that at all because I like people who are quite eccentric and different. So that that's not the issue. The issue is why is he allowing some things like the use of the N-word and just uh, just a whole bunch of memes that are very inappropriate. And it just goes to show you it's kind of scary that people in power are more than just influential. They can really have a big impact on the way we do things and the way we believe things and the way we're allowed to say things. And I just don't like that power. I don't, I don't like it at all. Thinking, we're in a day and age where it's so weird. Uh, it seems like we're going backwards. It seems mm -hmm. like back in the day, if you were not of our culture, using the N-word was something that if you did it, you did not do it in front of us, but you were not. Mm -hmm. Um, I don't know, bold enough to say it on Twitter. And if you did, I feel like we used to live in a day and age where social media immediately would take that down, would rip your account, would suspend yeah. your account, where now it's a free for all. It's but I say much. this to say, and I'm not take, I'm not going to turn left, but I think we pick and choose what's a big deal to speak on and what's not. And I think we pick and choose what words can be said with, um, what's the word? I'm trying to, I think you know what I'm touching on. You're trying to be politically correct. I'm being very politically correct right now. Okay. I just think there are certain things that can be said about some things 
that will not get the same response as if you say th- some things about certain things. And I think yeah. that's where that whole freedom of speech category gets confusing because mm-hmm. you can say whatever you want in this day mm-hmm. and age, but can you really say whatever you want about some people versus others? That's what yes. I'm going to orchestrate. I, I get it 100%. And Kanye West comes to mind. Yep, I understand it. Kanye West, uh, Kyrie Irving. Um, yeah, I, I get it 100%. And but it, then it's just... in the same boat, Brett Favre. Yeah, and, and, and there's a whole long list of things. Isn't it funny how it works for some people and not for others? And, and let's be clear, this is not just happening all of a sudden. Let's be clear, it's not only happening on Twitter. Let's be mm-hmm. clear, me and Beyonce have had these conversations for as long as I've known Beyonce, that we personally see some things happen for others that we don't for people that look like you and I. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's, it's, it's pretty much an everyday occurrence in our lives. And it's just like, whoa, <laughs> how does that happen? But now it just seems but... like I'm honestly going to take it back to Trump. When Trump became president, in my opinion, I don't even like saying his name, 45. When he 45 became president, I believe it gave a voice to those mm-hmm. who felt the same as him, but kept mm-hmm. it underneath and kept it behind closed doors. Now I feel like they say and feel whatever. And um, it's a weird world I feel like we live in right now. It, it really is. It's it's weird. It's unfair. Uh, oftentimes it's unjust. And um, we keep surviving it, you know? We keep surviving it. Yeah. Yep. But I know a higher power, higher than Elon Musk, higher than Donald Trump, higher than all the people in Hollywood and beyond. And so that's how I make it through. And on that note, (laughs) episode 82 of the We'll Just Agree to Disagree podcast Beyonce can pass the collection plate on that one. And uh, where can they follow you at on social media? At Beyonce Fox, B-I-O-N-C-E-F-O-X. And if you guys don't follow Beyonce, follow her because I love on Sundays, you know, I'm just now getting back going to church, but there were some Sundays that I wasn't going to church like I should have been. But you can always count on Beyonce to give you a scripture (laughs) from the Lord on Facebook and Twitter every Sunday. And when I tell you, I really be like, all right, what is B saying this morning? Oh, thank you, B. All right. So make sure. Wow. You- okay, good. Good. Yeah, no, That's for real. Keep no, doing it's impactful. Those. Yes, keep okay. doing those. Awesome. Um, and they're from the of, heart. They're from the heart. A lot of times, though, they will go with what's going on in society or just my personal life where you'd be like, how did she know? Um, mm, interesting. Yeah, keep doing that. You guys okay. can follow me at Ryan Media Lee. Make sure you subscribe to the podcast on YouTube at We'll Just Agree to Disagree. And you can listen to it on the iHeartRadio app. Episode 83 next week, B? Yeah, man. We are inching our way to 100. Yeah, honey. Woohoo! All right, I'll talk to you guys later. Bye, B. Bye.